Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and as you saw in that intro, today I am going to be showing you the craziest guitar that I own. An absolutely outrageous instrument from my friends over at Hybrid Guitars. Link in the description. Now before I get talking about this guitar, please do hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment below, get notified, all of that good stuff. It's a great way to help the channel out. And yeah, growth is good. So uh, yeah, I have been a fan of Hybrid Guitars for a, a very long time now. Uh, in fact, I did a live stream on my channel a year ago um, gushing about their instruments. And I ended up ordering one actually uh, four months ago and it's just showed up this absolutely stunning, check this out. This is a thin line uh, Telecaster made by Hybrid Guitars. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice when you look at this is uh, you're gonna say multi-scale. Uh, I actually believe it's strictly fanned frets as in the Novax designed fanned fret system. Uh, that's my understanding of things. And yeah, an extreme scale length difference. If you look at the bridge here with the, the strings offset as much as this, and the same up here, the scale length on that lowest string is much, much longer than the uh, scale length on the top string. Uh, I believe it's 29 inches on the bottom, going up to 25.5 on the top. So it's a huge, huge uh, scale of difference there. And of course that's for good reason, and you could hear that in the intro. The result of this is that the low string on this seven string guitar is tuned down to a G and it really sounds and feels like a bass guitar string, which is absolutely incredible. Um, there's a, a hell of a lot of range actually. If I just put up on, uh, on screen now, this is the tuning of a regular seven string guitar tuned B to E. Well, this seven string guitar is tuned from G up to D. So that would be a G, C, F, C, F, B flat and D. That's Charlie Hunter tuning. Uh, so you can't talk about hybrid guitars without talking about Charlie Hunter. So who are hybrid guitars? Who is Charlie Hunter? Well, Charlie Hunter, Wes Lamb, and Clay Connor started hybrid guitars as a kind of offshoot of the guitars that Wes Lamb and Clay Connor were making uh, in collaboration with Charlie Hunter. Charlie Hunter is one of the most outrageously talented musicians I've ever listened to. I'm a big fan of his music. In fact, his last live album that just went out, picture of it on screen now, you have to go and check it out. It's absolutely incredible. I love this album. I can't stop playing this album at the moment. It's just a phenomenal record. And the thing that you'll notice when looking at this album is it's a trio album. There are only three musicians on this, saxophone, drums, and hybrid guitar. And that really needs to be paid attention to when you're listening to it, because there's no bass guitar on that. Everything that you're hearing on the low end is Charlie Hunter whilst playing the melodies on the guitar. Now, uh, just an incredible musician, and you know, I absolutely love his, his music, but he's also worth, of course, following on Instagram, where you can see some incredible clips like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to transcribe it and learn it at some point. Uh, but essentially, I had to reach out to the guys over at uh, Hybrid Guitars and ask about having a custom built for me. And <laughs> while I wanted one of those beautiful carved tops that he uses, as you all know, I am a Telecaster guy. Uh, so the only instrument for me is always going to be a Telecaster. Uh, so I asked for a thin line Telecaster, but made to look like a jazz guitar. So we've got, you know, the F hole and the, the, the kind of the burst top on it. There's this uh, scratch plate here or pick guard. Um, yeah, obviously still a Telecaster, but very much in that jazz guitar vein, which I'm, I'm super into. So let's talk about the instrument. Uh, aside from mentioning the ridiculous scale length, the other thing that's really interesting about this guitar is these pickups, uh, these are Kent Armstrong pickups, they're custom wound and they are stereo pickups. So if I turn the guitar up, 
you'll notice that there are two jack sockets on this guitar. Two jack sockets. So I'm running this guitar in stereo. As it currently stands, I have one output going over here to a bass rig, and I have another input over here going to a guitar rig. That's why when you listen to that uh, piece that I played in the intro, I have different effects on the bass strings versus the guitar strings. Uh, I've got an auto wah and some reverb on the top, and I've got some compression and some EQ going on on the low end. And it helps to separate those parts, helps to really make them sing together. Uh, just that alone was enough of a reason to get me involved in the hybrid guitars thing, because it's so exciting, you know, the, the tonal possibilities. And when you can start combining bass melodies and guitar melodies to create one sort of coherent thing uh it's incredible and now <laughs> obviously i've been playing hybrid guitar now for literally 24 hours that's it uh and okay i've made some good progress in 24 hours but this is a, a lifetime investment you know you really have to learn how to play something as outrageously cool as this instrument so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the electronics in it as you can see we've got four uh, four four knobs here, and this would be volume and volume for the uh, for each individual stereo output. So uh, bass volume and guitar volume, and then we have uh, an EQ pot for the bass, EQ for the treble. But the really cool thing about this is we have this uh, switch here, and at the flick of that switch, I can go from the guitar being in stereo to being in mono. So my guitar goes from being separate guitar and bass. I'll just turn this this volume up. So here the guitar's in stereo. And then if I flick this switch, now the guitar switches over to being in mono, so all of the sounds now are coming through that one channel. That's all coming through the one channel. So it's a usable tool. You could absolutely use this just running through one amp. Uh, but really for me, the idea would be to have a stereo rig. In fact, I do have set up a stereo rig. I can go into a rev amplifier and also uh, a TC electronic amplifier for the bass side of things. But it is nice if you, you want to use one of these and just record, uh, treat it like a baritone guitar or a seven string guitar. You do have the option, it is nice. But stereo is where it's at for me. So if I spin the instrument over, what you can see here is we have this, I mean, as you can see, beautiful piece of mahogany. Uh, recessed sections for the bass strings to go in, because obviously they are a, a fair bit weightier. If I was to have a, a minor complaint, I would say that I don't think that this neck heel here is particularly appealing. Though, to be honest, I don't think you play an instrument like this in order to get really high up on the neck. I don't think that's what the instrument is best served to do. So while not necessary, uh, it does feel like a little bit of an oversight, just a tiny oversight. Um, no real complaint there. As I say, it's not gonna get in the way in any way, shape or form. Uh, the function of this instrument, as you can see, was just from the idea of playing uh, separate bass melodies and guitar melodies. Now, uh, obviously there are some tricky parts of playing an instrument like this. It is tuned very differently, so I'm having to get to grips with that and learn how to play an instrument tuned like that, which is a lot of fun. Uh, but this can be put together relatively quickly. You know, just sitting down for a few minutes earlier, I can already start playing through blues patterns uh, on the guitar, separating, you know, walking bass lines and chord stabs on top. In fact, that sounds something like this. Lots of fun, yeah, absolutely lots of fun. And as I say, what I'm putting together in just 24 hours, I'm really excited to see what I can get out of this instrument over the coming months. 
uh, I'm definitely going to be playing it a whole lot more. And hopefully I'm going to be bringing you a lot more content talking about hybrid guitars. I would recommend that you go and check those guys out. Follow Hybrid Guitars on Instagram. Check their website out if you're interested in what they're building. Do consider picking one up because they are just stunning, stunning instruments. And the wait time is not too bad on them either. This one I think took four months to the day for them to uh, take the order, make it and get it sent to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm unbelievably happy with it. Couldn't be happier with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of content on hybrid guitars on my channel. I'm going to be transcribing a lot, obviously, so I can get into the ins and outs of how Charlie Hunter plays. Uh, but hopefully I'm going to be able to hook up with some of the guys from hybrid guitars, maybe some other hybrid players, get some interviews and talk to you about the concepts behind things like this. Because, you know, what what happens in a man's brain to make him want to design and make something like this? What happens in a man's brain to think that the guitar that you were currently playing wasn't enough and you somehow needed more range? I think that's really fascinating. Uh, and I'm looking forward to talking a lot more about it. So yeah, super excited to do that. And hopefully you guys have uh, found some interest in this. This is a you know a stunning, stunning instrument. And go and check them out, Hybrid Guitars. Absolutely beautiful. They look beautiful. They sound beautiful. They're a challenge to play, but definitely worth your time. <laughs> Lastly, I just want to say a huge thanks to my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. And of course, you know, I wouldn't be able to buy guitars like this without the support of my supporters over on Patreon, okay? So you guys have made these things like this happen. It would be wonderful if a company like Hybrid Guitars could afford to just send me a guitar to talk about, but they are a, a busy custom shop and they don't have, uh, they just don't have the resources to be sending guitars out to people for free. So I did pay for this guitar um, and yeah, wouldn't have been able to do that without my Patreon support. So thank you very much guys. I've saved up money for quite a while. If you would like to be like one of those people over there, please do head on over to the link in the description and help me to make more content like this for you. Uh, if that doesn't suit, you can also so head on over to Amazon, check out one of my books. If you have any questions about this particular instrument or anything else guitar related, please do leave me a comment below. As always, hit that subscribe button and I am always here to help you. So much love and I will see you guys for another video very soon. Goodbye.